So people's lives are so comfortable now that we are out here saying women would rather be in the woods with bears than with men. So let's talk about this. All right, so it's about 7.30 right now. Turn the car off to conserve gas. And I had heard about this floating around on social media. Take everything that I hear with a grain of salt. So I always just assume, you know, this is what happens when you go to college. Higher education doesn't always mean that you're going to come up the smartest. I saw this circulating through Instagram. Then a few channels on YouTube started to react to it. And I figured because my last video did really well, do some social commentary because there's no way that this is real. You know, we already touched on the fact that some women out here are claiming that $30 is way too much, like not enough for lunch. And they expect a hundred bucks. I appreciate you guys commenting on that. But let's talk about this bear versus man in the woods topic like who really like i felt like i feel like sometimes when i hear things on social media that people are talking about i feel like i went to sleep and woke up in a, like a parallel universe because nothing that i'm hearing makes sense to someone that's living in reality like who is honestly like dead ass like who's out here saying that they would rather be stuck in, if they're stuck in the woods who's saying they would rather be stuck with a bear rather than a man the bear so maybe a bear <laughs> probably a bear 100 percent a bear which is like terrifying to say definitely a bear bear Women were actually saying that I had this feeling like they might be thinking like they're going to be stuck in the in the woods with like, remember, remember the brown bear that would talk about only you could prevent forest fires or maybe like Paddington. Are we dead ass like being serious? We had cocaine bears, so it kind of made a, the situation about being in the woods with bears a little light. There's no way. And there's no way in the world that you're going to claim or try to convince me that men are so dangerous that being with bears is safer. Well, let's take a look at some statistics. Who gets murdered by strangers? more. Oh, here's the source. A larger percentage of males, 21%, were murdered by a stranger than females, 12%. I think a while back I reacted to, I forgot the name of the film that came out with Aaron Taylor Johnson, a very sexy ass dude in that film that I guess was very questionable. At least from the trailer, I was questioning it because there was a scene that took place in the trailer where he was as a child was fighting a lion and because he didn't defeat the lion the dad like was upset he is weak like his mother leave him but then like you saw the injuries that came across his body and it did not look anywhere close to the injuries that one would get if they were actually attacked by a lion and there were so many moments in that scene where I'm like, yeah, that kid should have totally had lost his head. Like, he should not have a head. He shouldn't have a shoulder. His arms should actually not even be in place. But at the end of the scene, he ends up getting, like, this bruise underneath his chest. But then I compared it to the scene in The Revenant. <laughs> Because that bear was just tearing him up. It still terrified me because the sound design of that was so gut-wrenching. So we're going from there and now we're listening to women say this. All you females said you'd rather be in the woods with a bear than a man and now look at you. Have fun getting mauled by a bear. Hey, uh, is this guy bothering you? Uh, yeah. Whatever, I'm gonna have fun watching you get torn to shreds. I just ate. Um, I don't really know what you're talking about but you're being kind of weird. You're a bear. You attack people. I've seen videos of it. Well, you're a man so you also attack people. A lot more people than I do and you also attack bears sometimes, okay? I saw the revenant. Like, I only attack things when I feel feel threatened or I need to eat. Like you're foaming at the mouth hoping that I attack her to feel self-righteous. That's weird. And if I did attack her, no one would be like, well, what was she wearing? Was she drunk? This is what she gets for camping. And if I did attack her, people would be hunting me down. They wouldn't be like, well, the bear has a promising future in water polo, so maybe we should be leaning in. Why don't you just focus on making yourself the kind of man a woman would choose over a bear? Would you like to be escorted out of the woods? That would be lovely. If it were me and I was alone in the woods, I would prefer to see a bear than a man. It's not a bear that's roofing women. It's not a bear that is involved in smex trafficking. It's not a bear that women have to fear whenever they divorce that man or break up with that man. It's not a bear. It's a man. Truthfully, if men were honest and they were alone in the woods, even they would take their chances with a bear than another man. Where have we gone wrong in society? How is it that you can live your life with no problems and then create problems out of nothing. Now granted, there are terrible men out there, but there ain't no fucking way that we're gonna be out here saying out loud that I would rather be in the woods with a big ass ginormous bear that can swim, that can run and climb trees. 
I don't know if you guys remember The Revenant. And we can even use the, ju- the, the crazy cocaine bear. That bear was still crazy. You know, it was still climbing trees. It was fast as shit. You know, if you take the cocaine aspect out of it, it's still a fucking bear that could still climb trees and run. And it was kind of disturbing, <laughs> you know, a little bit. Like, you could find the humor in it because it was meant to be funny, even though it was slightly loosely based on the true story. Bears are dangerous. And the idea that some women were like, yeah, but if you play dead, then it's not that big of a problem. Oh, yeah, because that bear is just going to see you on the ground. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to attack this human that's playing dead on the ground, even though I am hungry. Like, also, is a wild animal. When did it become okay for people to just say, hey, I'd rather be in the woods with a wild wild animal as opposed to a human being I, I promise you it feels like i went to sleep and woke up parallel universe i'm in the upside down i never thought that this would be the conversation that would be had i like to believe that well first of all i don't believe everything i see on social media i 110 percent believe that a lot of people say stuff on social media in order to go viral to have people talk about it do reactions on youtube but i do want to believe that somewhere down the line while some people are just saying stuff to get a reaction out of people i honestly believe just because of where we're at right now in the world people are actually believing the things that they're saying the things that are coming out of these people's mouths that sound idiotic some people are actually believing to be true we can always blame the school system you know public school system has failed kids colleges do not have your kids best interests y'all are paying tons of money to have your kids come out dumber you don't hear this happening in trade schools girls in college they are just living their life in fear because men are just so terrible that they decided that they as a collective loosely i'm just saying they would rather be in the woods with a bear a grizzly bear a brown bear a black bear a polar bear it don't really matter as long as it's not a man we're okay because men are dangerous not bears would you rather me encounter a bear or a man i feel more like bear i don't know because i feel like i would know what the outcome would be with a bear to be clear the answer is unequivocally a bear i laugh because it's funny but i'm laughing to keep me from crying because women are actually honestly thinking that this is true i laughed because women was were expecting a hundred dollars for lunch now i'm laughing because women want to be in the woods with bears rather than men and then my question is what are we talking about i'm gonna say i'm probably just feeding into this whole issue that's happening where someone says something outlandish and everybody reacts to it then that person ends up blowing up on whatever platform that they were on because everybody's talking about this crazy thing that they discussed and talked about social media social experiments take place a lot ever since the dawn of social media people have been doing these like social experiments just getting an idea of where people's mindsets are when it comes to certain topics i just am just so lost as to how this became the topic of discussion man or bear is this week's idiotic waste of time and the answers that people are giving are very predictable because they're stupid not even like would you rather be put in the woods with a man or or your pet you know something something logical you know no we have to go to the extreme it's a bear then the next thing is gonna be a coyote the next thing hey why not a dinosaur why why are we talking crazy knowing damn well these women are not trying to be stuck in no woods with a bear i like to put these theories to, to the test simply because when you say i'll land this shit that don't make no sense but you're like so convinced that this is true you should prove your point you should be put in the woods with a bear just to prove that it's safer for you now us living in reality we know what would happen if you were to be stuck with a bear you can't just decide oh i'm in the in the woods with this bear because i'd rather be in here rather than a man so this bear is going to understand that this is an experiment and they're not going to be aggressive you know it's going to be a nice bear like like paddington that's not how that works but i would love to see that happen same way with people that want to get men into women's sports because they want to be inclusive and then get shocked when men crush these women and now the women feel stupid even racing or doing whatever the the sport is that they have these men in because they decided to be inclusive but now the men are taking over the game listen just put it to the test do the thing that you want us to do and then let's see the aftermath of it all did it make sense for us to do this or should we go back to living in reality i found it funny and it was funny because i was at a i was at a crossroads because i was in the process of watching a film that i was going to talk about but then i realized Women want to be in the woods with bears. We have to talk about this somehow, some way, because we like on this channel to just talk about nonsense that people bring up and then try to rationalize it with my very simple brain. 
and then see what people think in the comments about it because trust me from the last video where that girl was saying that thirty dollars was not enough for a lunch a lot of people had an opinion about it and i like that granted let's just chop this up this is just new age modern day kids we just have no problems in the world so we're just out here just creating our own problems and i understand that because when you have such a very relaxed comfortable life some people are addicted to the craziness you know to the chaos so it makes sense for one to turn around and be like you know what you know what i was thinking about i was thinking about the fact that i don't like men <laughs> and you know what i like wild animals and if i was to be in the woods I'd rather be in the woods with a wild animal. You want to know why? Because men are dangerous. <laughs> they are so dangerous, in fact, that I'd rather be in the woods with a seven, eight foot, 500 pound, probably even more pounds than that creature that with one swipe of a hand can take my whole goddamn head off. I, listen, I'm going I'm to refer you guys back to that Revenant scene. Yeah, that was a fake bear. And that was still terrifying because I know that a real bear could have done so much worse. And that, my friend, was terrible. I was like, yo, no one's going to call cut. Like, Leonardo DiCaprio is dying over here. He's getting killed by this very fake bear. But no, we want to be stuck in the woods with that. <laughs> As opposed to, let's say, Leonardo DiCaprio. I'm just saying. Like, it has to make sense. Even Tom Hardy in the film, who was kind of like the... Was he kind of like the bad guy in it? I don't remember. I feel like he was like kind of the bad guy in it. Even at that. So I forgot if he really was or not. So I feel like they were both friends and all of a sudden I'm like, they were, they were like at a crossroads and they ended up not liking each other. I would still be in the woods with Tom Hardy over the bear because it's a fucking bear. I, I used to talk shit about social media. And to be honest, I don't give a shit about Instagram. I don't give a shit about TikTok, even though TikTok is funny. Uh, reels on Instagram are funny as hell. Memes are her memes are the best there are certain friends that i only communicate through memes with and it's like the best feeling ever to have someone understand your life through moving with memes like i i don't know what my life was like before memes i'm telling you being on social media it has its ups and downs you want to believe that the things that you see are not real because as a person that does a lot of stuff on social media you can't believe everything you see a lot of people put the best moments of their life on social media while hiding the truth behind what's actually going on in their life but then you hear people doing these social experiments asking questions and you have to decide is this person putting on for the camera or is this what this person actually thinks reality is a lot of times you question it you stop and realize this actually might be truthful this person may actually think this like this might be this person's truth they believe this to be true. I never had any intention on this video being long. I just really wanted to bring it up. I was going to watch a film or like start watching the show. Even though I know a while back I said I was going to watch the, the show of Velma. And I really like, I really just don't have the time to be dealing with Mindy Kelling right now. I really don't. You know, there's, there's two seasons out now. So there's that. I really wanted to touch on this. People nowadays just need to understand the more people speak up about the insanity that they see, that people say out loud that is not true for the masses, the more things are going to be better. The more we're going to be able to make somewhat of a change in the way people view certain people. That's why I did my video about the about the black girls talking about $100. The idea that there are women out there that genuinely hate men is disturbing, but also more disturbing and funny. I'm saying funny because it is, because no woman's going to really put their theory to the test about being put in the woods with a bear. I think the idea that women would feel safer with a bear as a, rather than a man in any circumstance, whether you're in a room, in the woods, in the fucking, it doesn't matter. Just you saying it out loud, you should feel dumb. And also people that say that should really put these women to the test. That's the only way you're going to cause people to stop saying dumb shit out, out loud because no one has ever put them to the test and, uh, you know, put their words to action. I would love to see that. I would love to see a situation like that happen. Like we all know what the outcome would be. You know, you chose this. You said you'd rather be in the woods with a bear. So let's see how you come out of that. With that being said, let me guys know in the comments below what you guys think. Have you guys heard this, the whole question being brought up? It just sounds stupid. Like when you really think about it, it sounds dumb as hell. Bad. Man is scary. 100% oh, of bad, which is like terrifying to say, but really bitch you really out here just trying to be in the woods with wild animals you know what next a coyote a rhino a hippo which i've learned hippos are dangerous as hell i saw one like there was a video on social media like, on instagram where this hippo was chasing i think like a lion or like some other like the hippo was chasing like another wild animal but the hippo was huge i never factored how 
big a hippo was and they look terrifying like i don't know you just say a bunch of nonsense and we have to really test your logic do you really mean what you say if we were to put you in that tomorrow would you do it i just want to know but let me know if you guys ever heard this whole discussion taking place on social media i'd be very intrigued to read what you guys think a lot of people probably laugh and just think these are just dumb kids and you would be right also if you guys do not know i do photography i am a food and drink influencer that travels around and eats and drinks delicious food while capturing the beauty that is the food and drinks that i eat and i post it on my instagram but i also throughout my travels i encounter a lot of interesting people and i discuss it on my podcast ali versus the world and you can actually listen to my podcast on five different platforms which is really awesome but when i do video content it's only shown on spotify so definitely follow me on those platforms to never miss what goes on in my life but if you love my content and love this channel don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell so you're always notified about the new videos that i have coming out i love you all hope everybody has a great memorial weekend and hope to see you all in the next video